Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to make a slight detour again and go over a pregnancy calculator. So we're going to actually create this. Don't delete the previous code. We're going to get back to it and we're going to loop around, but I just want to introduce us to some more experience, get more experience, and new ideas. Before I begin, the recent Dart SDK 1.12 they did change the way packages or libraries have are managed a little bit. So it does took me a little while to figure this one out. So what I'm going to do is get BMI calculate instead of putting a separate lib file, we're going to have to put it on the same in order to make things easier, put it in the same level as all of the rest of your web application. Okay, so I'm going to get this right click duplicate. And instead of lib slash, I'm going to put it directly under web slash BMI calculate dot dart. So it'll be right there. It's just copied. Um, I, you know, when you right click it and delete it for Fedora, I don't think it actually works very well. I tried this a number of times, but it doesn't seem to be working. It may actually work for Windows. I, um, I think it worked once for me. So I'm going to go over here, web. The lib, I'll delete that. Okay, ignore that other stuff inside of there. That's me testing, playing around. Okay, so we have main.dart. Let's remove this because remember, there's no more lib any longer, and this should work just as well. So it works just as well. We just moved the library over here. Now let's go ahead and again, we said we're creating a pregnancy calculator. So what do I want it to look like? Well, first of all, let me get the code ready. So we'll add a new file and call it pregnancy.dart. And it'll be a new file right there. I could have put it again in the main.dart, but we're just going to practice a little bit here, okay? What do I want this to look like? Well, what I want it to look like is having like a date right here. You enter the date of your last menstrual period, and then we will calculate when we hit submit what when you're actually due and how far along you are. If you don't know what a last menstrual period is, please ask your parents and meet me back here, okay? Um, okay, so that's a little bit beyond the scope of this video. So I'm going to say input type equals date. ID equals LMP for last menstrual period. So here I'm going to say, when was your last menstrual period? We'll save that, reload it, and it's right there. Okay, I'm going to actually not delete this, but let's hide it for right now. So I'm going to comment this part out control forward slash right forward slash save there we go and what I want it to happen is when you put in the date and you hit submit below here under the result div it's going to be your estimated date of when you should be delivering when you're due and then there's going to be the um, how far along are you how many weeks and how many days are you Okay, just just to let you know, I, I think um, Dartium may, might be a little unstable. Sometimes when you choose a date inside of here, the thing actually crashes just like that. Okay, that's not normal. Okay, I think that's a Dartium type of problem. That's not actually with our code itself. So just notice we didn't write any Dart code just to keep that in mind. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to actually need is some type of way to get the date. So in here, I'm going to say library, right? Uh, pregnancy.dart. Then I'm going to say import dart HTML, right? We need that. Then I'm going to say Let's create, um, let's create a class again.
since we're doing that right now, and we'll say the date time, that's the type, um, today. Because again, remember, you put in your last menstrual period, and what is your estimated due date today, and when in the future is going to be your estimated date of delivery. Okay, so we need to know what today's date actually is, right? So I'll say today equals new date time dot now. Okay, so what is today? Today equals new date time dot now. Okay, the computer will, it'll grab the information and it'll tell you what today's date is. Now I need to get this information from there. Okay, what is that? That's a date in, hitting wrong buttons here. Hang on a second. In, you know, interestingly, I did actually take typing in high school. Okay, just, just to let you guys know that. Okay, so I'm just going to call this an LMP element. That's the last menstrual period equals query selector LMP. All right, good. So we have the LMP, last menstrual period, LMP element, right? And then we're going to say, um, I think I'm, what I'm going to actually do is get a series of getters inside of here, okay? So what I'll say is date, time, get LMP. Okay, there's no LMP here. There's LMP element. And I'm going to have that return... Um, LMP element dot value, right? But value as date. Let's just skip a couple of, because when you think about it right here, you could enter a date inside of here, but most people are probably just going to do a drop down. I don't think Firefox actually does this, so we do have some, we do, we might in the future, uh oh, we, we might in the future want to put a um, try or an on error type of thing, but for right now, we're just going to skip that go value as date. And then I'm going to say, so I have the last menstrual period, okay, the actual date. And then I'm going to want to get the um, estimated, like, date of delivery. Okay, so I'll say date, time, get estimated date of delivery date, and I'll return lmp.add, so to this date, add some days. What's the syntax? New duration, new duration, days. So how do you calculate a last menstrual, I'm sorry, a um, delivery date from your last menstrual period? You simply add 40 weeks, okay? Because gestational age, the, the time when you get pregnant and when you deliver is 40 weeks. That's it. So what's 40 weeks? 40 times 7 days, it's 280 days. Okay? that's it's, it's that simple. So super easy to actually calculate, but when you have a calendar and you got to count the days, that's what computers are for, right? So the estimated date of delivery is right here. Last menstrual period, what are we missing? Um, we're missing the current as gestational age, so how far along are you? So I'm going to say int um, get e estimated gestational age um, uh, and I'm going to say today because we're, we're talking today and the difference. So the difference between today the estimated, I'm sorry, the LMP and today, what's the date in between there? And that's going to be um, LMP, of course, the, the date dot in, in days. So today minus the last menstrual period, how many days have passed in between? Give that to me in days, okay? But... I don't really want necessarily days, right? So if you're two months along, I don't want the number of days because then I have to actually do some calculations. So what I typically say is um, 
for something like that. Let's say string get estimated EGA, um, estimated gestational age. Uh, how do I say that? Um, in weeks and days. And instead, we will get um, let's say um, EGA seven. So, what is the number of times it goes into seven? That many weeks and EGA, what's the remainder when you divide it by 7? So that's the percentage sign, right? 7, that's the remainder. So if it, for example, um, 30, that would be 4. So 4, 30 divided by 7 equals 4, 4 weeks, and the remainder is 2, right? Two, I said 30, right? 2, so 4 weeks and 2 days, because that's the remainder. Let's do that, okay? Now, could I have used other, done this through other ways, made functions and stuff like that? I could have. I just decided to use getters right here. I could have used functions inside of here. Either way, these are string, fun these are one line functions anyway, but, but getters, we don't really need setters because there's nothing really to input other than initially just the LMP element. That's all we're doing. So this is the perfect opportunity just to use getters instead. All right, so I think that is what we need. So what did we need? We needed the estimated due date, and then we needed the estimate gestational age. Okay, excellent. So we will go back to main.dart, and we have to actually import this now. Import pregnancy, right, dot dart? That's simple. Okay, on click. Instead of the this, what we're going to have us do is say, um, we're going to put in the date. When we submit, we're going to say uh, new, hang on, pregnancy dot. I forgot what we were doing already. Um, EDD date. Okay. EDD date. All right. So we'll say query selector result dot text equals new pregnancy. Oh, this is not a date. Date time um, dot date dot to string. We'll just do that. And then we'll do the same thing actually what we could do is And, hang on, whoa, I guess I shouldn't have actually mentioned I took typing class, okay, I don't think that was a good thing for me to say. Okay, so, um, new preg, because if I said I didn't, it, I, at least I got an excuse, right? Um, E-G-A weeks, did I say something like that? Week, weeks to days. Okay, um, I just had to do a little editing right here. And notice I've changed this. Put the parentheses over this part so the two string refers to the entire thing. Um, in addition, I added your do due date is. I was having some problems with the import earlier, and that's why I had to edit this because it was just a long mess. And I don't exactly know what was the problem uh, looking back on it. And I tried to go back and see what it was. I couldn't figure it out. So sorry about that. We'll hit save. So your last due date is newpregnancy.edd.edd.date.toString. 
and then new pregnancy.ega weeks. That's already a string. String right here. Okay. So we'll restart this. June 16. So your due date is here and you're 11 weeks and four days pregnant. By the way, BMI calculator, uh, what's going on there? So let's just call this starter web app. So we don't have to keep changing that, all right? So I hope this was a little bit helpful. Don't worry, we're gonna come back a little bit and we're going to edit this, make it a little bit more legible, um, easier to read. We're gonna make this a little bit better, but we'll take it one step at a time. Thank you.